What does the angel Moroni, the Nephites, the Lamanites, the golden plates, the white robes all have in common? They are all false teachings of the false prophet, Joseph Smith. You should discern, let the Bible lead ya. But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them, the way of truth will be blasphemed. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. Their condemnation from long ago is not idle, and their destruction is not asleep. 2 Peter 2, 1 through 3. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. God is awesome. His ways are majestic in all the earth. It's great to have you with me here today as we could delve into the false teachings of Joseph Smith. And he has a lot in common with the first two false prophets in this series. So feel free to go have a look at those videos as well. Um, and the very first thing I want to address um, is the lack of understanding of the nature of God. Um, because the Mormon or Church of Latter-day Saints understanding of God is different to that which is revealed to us in scriptures that God is one but he is Father, Son and, Ho and he is Father, Son and Holy Spirit and Muhammad denies that and uh, Mr. Russell Brand denies that and Joseph Smith denies that so th that in itself makes him a false prophet um, he thinks that God came from matter that God wasn't there in the beginning um, that we become gods and so there there is a, not just god but of a plethora plethora of gods um and that we become spiritual beings and um like gods um and so there's this denial of the nature of god uh in m the mormon movement also known as the church of latter-day saints so that's an important point to start off with and as i say that makes him a false prophet but let me elaborate on Mormonism, the teachings of this uh, heretical church. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, we've got the Nephites and the Lamanites. Now, presumably, or at least by account of Joseph Smith, the Nephites and the Lamanites, 600 years before Jesus uh, Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, came into the earth, um, emigrated to North America. And it was um, the Nephites and the Lamanites that had um, true revelation of the nature of God. And it, it is said that Joseph Smith discovered um, plates, golden plates, that they had left um, in uh, North America, uh, near New York, I think, Ohio. Um, and it was there that they have all that. From, it's from there that all these teachings, extra teachings, unbiblical teachings come from. Um, as I've alluded to already, uh, the nature of God is denied. The true nature of God is denied. Um, but also, uh, Mormons believe that salvation, which is like, how you, uh, are you going to be saved? You know, how are you saved? Uh, comes through the Mormon church alone. Um, so, not, so the Bible teaches through Christ alone. Salvation is through Christ, um, by the shedding of Christ's blood on the cross. Uh, but Mormons teach that salvation is found through the Mormon priesthood, as in the, the Church of Latter-day Saints. Um, so that goes against biblical doctrine. And so further, um, so adds further evidence to my claim that Joseph Smith, Smith is a false prophet. Um, so these, these golden plates that he supposedly found had these uh, teachings on them. Uh, another thing that the Mormons believe is that he, uh, is that we can live polygamous lives. Now that the Mormons are notorious for doing this, um, especially in Utah, where it is illegal to have multiple wives, um, but the Mormons um, insist on on um, living out that way of life 
Um, and this further goes against biblical teaching, as I've described in other videos. Marriage is the union between one man and one woman, and it reflects uh, the nature of God's love for us. Um, it's steadfast, it's pure, and it's um, for me as an individual, and then that extends to my wife. And that union is pure and holy, just as God uh, calls us into fellowship with Him, which is pure and holy. That's the biblical teaching on marriage, and Mormons reject that. Um, similar to Muhammad, Joseph Smith, um, no doubt, was seeking to create doctrine um, so that he could live out the lusts of his own uh, flesh. Um, both men, who are false prophets, um, were notorious for having a mul multiplicity of um, sexual unions. Uh, in fact, that, that goes for all three false prophets so far. Um, they come up with their own doctrine to satisfy the lusts of their flesh. They, they want to just have lots of sex and, and um, you know, wanna, don't want any responsibility and, and don't want to follow the way of God. And so they've all come up with their own um, things, uh, own doctrines to uh, allow uh, their way of living. Um, and, it, and obviously, uh, over the course of time, has uh, multiplied and many people have been deceived by these false heresies. So, as I say, um, the things I've mentioned so far, uh, the doctrine of the Trinity has been denied, uh, the fact that uh, the doctrine of marriage is being denied by the Mormons, uh, the doctrine of salvation is being denied by the Mormons. Um, one more thing before we finish here, uh, Joseph Smith uh, made his own translation, uh, but translation is a loose word, really it's version, because he, cre he added his own text and did all sorts of things uh, to the Bible. And, um, you know, you can, uh, for example, one of the things that he taught was uh, what happens when we die, that there's three realms of glory, and he inserts that into text, telestial, celestial, and he makes up another one as well, I've forgotten, but uh, that there's different realms of glory. Um, and he inserts his doctrines into the biblical text along with having his own uh, script, the Book of Mormon, which uh, apparently came from these, these golden um, tablets, um, but obviously he just made the whole thing up. Um, from the 1830s, when the book, when Mormonism came to fruition, um, there's been 4,000 changes to the Book of Mormon because um, what happened was a lot of the things that were spoken of in the Book of Mormon um, were all cultural things and um, you know when we when we compare them to biblical things which are eternal and still resonate today with the soul the Book of Mormon has had to change to adapt with the times you know, further evidence that uh, this is a man-made construct of belief and um, along with Russell Brand's ideology and Muhammad's ideology and Joseph Smith's ideology, they just made it all up to satisfy their own desires. And very sadly, people have been deceived by this stuff. You know, the real teaching of the Bible is you have to deny yourself and take up your cross and follow the Lord Jesus Christ and He'll give you strength to, to live pure and holy lives. Um, that doesn't mean that I still don't recognize that of the sinners I'm the worst, um, but Christ has died for me and I've been con I'm being continually sanctified and glorified and made into His likeness. Um, and I had to deny myself, I had to turn from my sin and, follow, and, and, and um, receive uh, the grace of God uh, through faith. So, all three false prophets so far have um, not been willing to humble themselves before the mighty hand of God. And so they will be cast off into the, the abyss. All three men will be cast off into darkness, into hellfire. And anyone who follows their heresies will be cast off into the fire. That's why for the thumbnail of this video, I've got fire. Because um, these 
men and these people who follow these men will be cast off into darkness. Why is the path that leads to destruction? Okay, um, so there we go. Um, those are some of the some insights for you into the nature of the Church of Latter Day Saints. Don't be deceived by them. Uh, the missionaries walk around and they've got little name tags and and are often wearing like a suit and a white shirt, um, and they pretend to be Christians, but they're not. They elude godliness, but um, they deny the Lord who gives godliness, who gives us right His righteousness. Uh, they deny the truth, uh, the way, the way, the truth, and the life. The Lord Jesus Christ, He is the only way, and it's only by Him that we're saved. Not by the Mormon Church, not by the Book of Mormon, not by wearing white robes to make us more holy, but because Christ is holy. Amen. It's great to have you with me today, and I look forward to having you join me in the next video. God bless.